I haven't seen a squirrel in person since I was like six. Oh my goodness, he is so cute. He's hiding, look at him. Ah, I'm gonna be late for school. It is so rainy. It's rainy and I picked the worst thing to wear white sneakers. Look at this. Stark white sneakers. And it's raining. I'm such an idiot. I should have checked the weather before I left home. get a long weekend at school and stuff like that um this morning i was just so tired i went to sleep at like two o'clock i went to bed at like two o'clock last night trying to like stay on par with everything so this morning i woke up i got ready i got dressed climbed back into bed i woke up classes at 11 i woke up at 10 to 1 actually no it was eight to one so it is what it is um i feel bad that i missed class but also i've been going consistently even on weekends the only day that i don't work at all recently in the last two weeks has been on fridays and even though I'm not doing schoolwork, I'm doing like housework, laundry, vacuuming, sweeping, making sure my hair is done, stuff like that. Um, it is what it is, man. Look at this crap. I only wear my nice shoes on rainy days. Look at all this water on the ground. Why did I choose to wear these shoes? Ugh. It is ramping. It is pouring. Like the streets are soaked. And these cars are splashing. Madness. Look at how fast these people are going on the wet road. I ain't had to tell on her. My toes cool. My toes wet. These shoes is fabric shoes. Yeah. I saw that it was raining. I considered going back inside the school. But I have so much stuff to do this evening that I ain't got the choice about to fuck it out. I got my coat, which is water resistant. Not waterproof, water resistant. Getting light rain. Got my umbrella. Hopefully I don't blow it with it because the wind is pretty high. Oh, my toes are wet. Uh, who told me to do this? Back inside the building. <sighs> my toes are wet. My ankles are wet. I got splashed. Atlanta drivers drive like they're the only people on the road. I'm really annoyed. I almost threw my umbrella at one particular car because he just ran through the water right next to me. I literally had to stop myself from throwing my umbrella at the car. So I found this and like Amazon sells groceries. So I have a six pack of this beef um, it's Vietnamese rice noodles and let me show you guys what it looks like right so this is the lid so it's just gluten free and everything it comes with the seasoning packet which has in some like it's beef flavored so it has a beef flavoring and it has in like these dehydrated vegetables as well and then here's the actual noodles It doesn't look like much, but it's actually filling, and it comes with sriracha sauce, and it's actually really good with the sauce. 
Oh, and at the bottom, this is like dehydrated veg or whatever. I'm gonna toss this out because this is disgusting. So basically, how you make it is you toss in the noodles, you pour in the seasoning packet, and I mean, like, if you guys have ever met, made ramen, it's basically the same process. And now the seasoning is all in. I'm going to use, like, water from the kettle that already cool and fill it up to the line. Hopefully there's enough water in here because tap water here actually makes me kind of sick. Right, there's just enough water. Then literally just put it in. Three minutes. But this time I decided I would just show you guys like the stages of what I'm doing as opposed to the whole process. Just to switch it up a bit. So I'll show you guys what I'm working on right now. So right now, I'm working on these fork cones. You can see it's like a plastic fork. And this is glued together to make a cone. And I'm making a ball out of these. This is the template that I'm working with. Um, just to make a perfect circle. And this is some... Um, of the cones have already been tied together with um, 22 gauge wire I believe yeah so it's tied together at the top with the 22 gauge wire and at the bottom it is bind bounded together by um, like little black rubber hair bands I don't know if you guys can see that right there but yeah is bonded together by little black rubber hair bands and basically this is going to be a fork chandelier